hi guys this is Dalia welcome back to my channel um, today I decided to do a different video um, as you can see I'm showing my face which I don't do much of that but I decided to join the Fluffster community so um, this is how they do the videos showing the, the faces um, so if you are one of my subscribers um that you've been in my channel for a long time um this is a different kind of videos this is more um for the cross stitch or uh, needlework um craft so um as you guys know i started working on cross stitch but i have done crochet in the past and i have done um plastic canvas and in the uh, long time ago which you come to see is the same thing as cross stitching it's just using plastic canvas instead of fabric so uh, I've been I've been um, doing this for a long time I'm a crafter I do all kind of craft a scrapbook I crochet which I could I want to get back into that too I sew I um, I used to do jewelry, I have done plastic canvas, um, diamond painting now, cross stitch now, you know, scrapbooking, stamping, I think any craft that has been out there I have tried. The only one I haven't tried yet is um, quilting and I've been itching about it. but. I don't know about that one but anyway I just wanted to join the community of floss tube so I decided to do my first floss tube so this is my first and I'm gonna be putting them in my chapter in my um sorry in my um in my channel I'm not when I do a separate channel for that like I said I, this is my channel the one I've been working hard for a long time and um it's a crafting channel, so any craft that I do, I'll put it here. So if you one of my followers from my, you know, paper, paper craft, and you're not interested in, in cross stitching or watching this video, it's okay. Um, you could skip this video, and um, watch the next one that I put up for for whatever it is that you like to see. So anyway, um, like I said before, my name is Dahlia. I live in Springfield, Massachusetts, and um, I've been crafting all my life, like I said before. Um, just recently got an itch for cross stitching, so I started. And um, I'm building my stash slowly. Um, at this moment, I'm in a, in a budget, and I have to choose wisely where I spend, where I spend the craft. Uh, budget that I have so as you can see this is my craft room which I'm in the process of still building still organizing so this is where I would do my um, my videos and I have a craft room a room full of paper crafting supplies that I could build I could open a store with what I have but I don't have a cross stitch stash, so that I am gonna start building right now. But oh gosh, who thought that those patterns, those cross stitch charts, cost the way they cost? Yes. And let's not talk about that fancy floss and, and all that fancy fabric. Uh, I'll be a Ada girl, so I hope that's fine with. The Flosstool community to look at my projects. I'll be an Ada girl and I'll be a DMC girl for a while. So, um, so, um, that's what I have to say about that. I mean, uh, they got, they got beautiful things, but you got to start, you know, from the bottom. So I'll start with the classic Ada and the classic DMC floss. So, um, what else can I say about myself? Um, so yes, I live in Springfield, Massachusetts, and in Springfield, Massachusetts, we only got a Hobby Lobby, AC Moore, Michaels, and Joanne's. 
I don't have loco not laku. Sorry, my English is a little rough. Um, I don't have no LNS here, but I found one uh, 40 minutes from here, so I already pay a visit to that. So I have a, a, whole, a little whole video because that's where I find out how expensive things are. And um, so we don't have local needle shops here in Springfield, Mass, but I found one in. And where was it? Watersfield, Connecticut, which is like a uh, 40 minute drive for me, which I don't mind driving. I drive wherever I want to go to buy whatever I want to go. I had no problem with that, with, driving, with commuting or going to another city to get what I want. So that's that. Hopefully I could find one up in Mass. I don't know, maybe going like towards Boston, this one. But when I did a Google search, that's the closest one they they came. So I went to I paid a visit to that one last week. So um, I work full time. I work in a hospital. I'm not a nurse, but I work in you know, at um. I work in registra patient registration. So I work full time. I just switch shifts. I used to work days. Now I'm going to work evenings from 3 p.m. to 11. So that cuts hmm, my crafting time a little bit unless I get up early and craft before I go to work, which we'll see how that happens because I'm not a morning person. That's why I switch shifts because getting up at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock is not for me. So that's why I switch I switch. I work right now in the ER, in the emergency room, uh, in patient registration in the emergency room, but mm, getting up that early is not for me. So, uh, that's why I switch uh, evening. So, hopefully I'll, you know, get up a little earlier than before I go to work and, and, um, which, but I think in the shift that I have, I'm going to be able to cross stitch or, you know. I'm going to take my cross stitch and able to do it at work because all I had to do is answer a phone. So I'm sure I could sneak in the, the cross stitch in between answering phone calls. So, so that is that. And um, what else can I say about me? I'm single, so I don't have to justify anything that I buy or I do. Or, you know, I have all the time after I get out of work. Well, now, because I work days. But I don't have to, you know, attend, <clears throat> excuse me, little kids or husband or none of that. Just my dog. My kids are big. My daughter is 18 and she could take care of herself. So, um, yeah, um, like I said, I, I love to craft. Um, right now, I haven't done much because, like I said, I'm in the process and organizing this room. And oh god, I didn't know that was that was a that was that's a task. I mean, it's been weeks, and I'm still not done, not even close to be done. I have things that I don't know. I don't know. So I have a big stash of craft supplies so now I gotta build my crusted supplies which right now is very little I mean all I have is a few patterns and um, some patterns free patterns that I had collected from the internet and I'm sure some of them are not you know even supposed to be there but um, I'm finding out <laughs> some of that but um, you know so anyway, um, that's about me. Let's go to the haul. So like I said, I found a new store and this is the name of it. It's called um, This Little Needle Works. And it's in Wethersfield, Connecticut. And oh God, that was like a, a kid in a candy store. I mean, I'm brand new to this. So I was like, I spent, I think, maybe two hours there, and I didn't see everything. I did not. I got to go one day earlier um, and spend uh, maybe three or four hours there. So I'll be able to go through each 
patterns they have. I mean, they have racks and racks and boxes of charts. So it's like, oh my God, where do I start? So, you know, I just flip through, really, really, really look through them because there's so many, I didn't know where to start. And they kept asking me, I, I, you need, do you need anything? Do you need anything? I was like, no, I'm, you know, I'm just looking. I, I, I'm new to this, so I'm just looking. And they were nice because, you know, they was like, if you have any question, ask me and all that. But I was like, oh my God, where do I start? They have all kind of charts. They have those fancy yarns, I mean, floss. They got all the Mill Hill beads and all kind of fabric. Fabric, they are hmm, expensive, very expensive, and um, all kind of stuff. I mean, it's a cross stitch store, so um, I'll be going more over there at least once a month because I had to go with big bucks there. Yeah. So anyway, um, so let me share with you guys what I got. Um. I grabbed, some of them I already had them kitted up because I want to start them next. But this is, this was the splurge of the day, guys. This fabric right here. Like I said, I'm an Ada girl. I only, I, right now I'm using 11 count because that's what I feel comfortable with. But I went and bought different counts so I could, you know, experiment with different counts because 11 counts the projects are so big. So I wanna, you know, be able to do manageable, more manageable, um, pro, you know, the fabric. So I bought this 25 count Laguna White and it's only 15 inches. And that's what I paid, $15. So a dollar an inch, that is expensive. So this is what I got. It's it's white. I might experiment and um, dye. Well, not with this one. I will not experiment with this one. This was expensive. This is going to go to a very special project. It's 25 count. And um, she told me that um, this is best to do two over two. Something like that. Which I'm still learning my terms, guys. I'm still learning. So anyway, um, so this was the splurge of the day. A uh, 25 count Laguna white piece of fabric that cost me an arm and a leg for that piece, little tiny piece. So that was the that was the splurge of the day. And I think that would be the only splurge in fabric for me. No, can't do that. Not for now. So um, the other thing that I grabbed was um, this pattern by the country country cottage needle work is the wonderful time of the year i've seen a lot of um people doing this and it's very pretty and that is the that is my favorite quote for christmas this is the most um wonderful time of the year so i decided to do that and i already had it kitted up um which i went to Hobby Lobby guys and got my Ada and I got the oatmeal one and that's where I'm gonna do it and then I got the the floss tubes I'm gonna use the one it costs four and I keep them now in these plastic bags from the Dollar Tree uh, that's where I keep my whips and my stars now um, I do have a uh, have fabric and I'm collecting more fabric so I could do the Bona project bags but uh, I want to you know collect a few more fabrics and then sit down one day and do them all at once so but for now this plastic bags work for me so that is one the first pattern that I bought there and that cost me eight dollars yeah these tiny things Eight dollars. Who would have thought, right? Just a piece of paper with an instruction it cost that much. I thought scrapbooking was expensive. No, 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 no. Cross stitches. Um, the next one that I got is this one um by Ursula Michael from Imaginating Ink. And it's this one, it's called it's Merry Christmas. It's called 
Christmas Friends. It's this one right here. And um I did when when I bought I bought this Ada. It's the opal, the white opal. And it's 15 by 18. But it's not big enough for this. For this, I need a 16 by 25. So I am and I had to buy a bigger Ada and cut it to size. So so I don't have the fabric yet. Um but I'll get it. And then I already have all the DNC um floss. I don't bobby that bobby need them. I for me that's double trouble. I mean double work. You got you gotta bobby need them and then you use them. So I don't see the point of it. So I'm using these bags that I found uh Hobby Lobby. I forgot what's the name of this system. It comes in with a little binder, but I um I just don't use the rings. I just keep them in this pencil pouch and keep them all there. And this is how I'm going to store my floss tube once I'm not using it. I'm not going to that trouble. Bobby need them, then, then you don't bobby them because you're using them. That's a lot of work. No. So that is... That is the second um, pattern that I bought there. So I bought three patterns there and that piece of fabric. The other one that I bought is by the same company, um, Imaginating. And this one is called Santa Hang Up. That is this one right here. But I bought, I bought the fabric. I bought the 14... 14 count Ada the Stardust. This is the it has that glitter. So I got that and then I change all the colors of the see I don't I'm not big in Christmas classical co classic colors. I'm not into the red and green. So and I want him and pink and blue because that's the decoration that I'm going to have this year. So I'm changing the, the, the dress. I mean, his outfit, his outfit and his shoes and his socks and ribbon. And the hat is going to be in the turquoise and pink and stuff like that. So, um, that is this one. And, and I'm going to be using this Ada, um, Fabric. okay guys sorry about that i had a little interruption so like we were saying i'm gonna be using that eight of um starters um fabric with this one and i'm changing the outfit colors so those are the three patterns that i bought in that store and um the floss i got it at michael because i use coupons you know, I buy all the floss for, I bought all the floss for all projects at once. And there was a 25% coupon on top of that. So, that's why I buy my floss. So, um, that's what I got in that store. And I show you the fabric with the fabric I got at Hobby Lobby. So, um, like I say, I, um, so like I said, I went to Hobby Lobby and grabbed, um, more fabric. Um, because I wanted to kit up those, um, charts. So, um, I got the 14 count white opal, that, which I wanted for the, um, for that pattern, the Christmas Friends, I think was the name of it. But it wasn't big enough. Then I got this Ada 14 count, um, toast. And then I got another 14 Ada in white um, because I want to try um, dyeing the fabric. So I would that. And then, like I said, I can't really see past 11. <laughs> I'm going to try 14 and, and that 25 because I bought a magnifier glass so I could see it all 
something a magnified um gray i'll show you in a minute and then i said well you know if i had the 25 and i'm gonna try i might as well try the 28 even with um fabric because i think this would be the only fancy fabric i would use for now um so i got that and then i got this so it could help me with those small accounts because right now i use i use prescribed glasses i just don't wear them all the time but with those i cannot see past 11 count so i use readers or higher grade um readers with that i be a, i'm able to see the 14 uh, the 14 so uh but i still had tr i had trouble with it so i got this to see could help me with you know the small account with the 14 plus the 25 count and the that 28 count that i just purchased and then i grabbed this ruler because could be helpful you know i'm a newbie at this so that could be helpful especially with those small accounts it would be helpful for me so that is that and then um i went to the dollar tree to grab some more of those um project bags that i'm using at the moment like i said i will have fancy project bags that i will create but that's gonna be not right now and then um some you um floss tube i think it was teacherista i'm not sure she said that this thing fits the Q-snap, right? I don't have Q-snap. I did bought three sets of them, a Hobby Lobby. I bought the 11 by 11, the 8 by 8, and the 6 by 6. But I couldn't put that thing apart. Like, rip the thing so I could put the fabric. No, I couldn't do that. I had to really unscrew everything and pull the thing out for me to be able to snap the fabric in it then when i snapped the fabric in it that was a big mistake because i couldn't couldn't take that thing apart it's so hard it's so hard in my hands and maybe i don't have the strength i have joint problems so maybe i don't have the strength required to pull this i wanted to try them so bad because i see all these floss tours they use them and they love them, so I was like, I want to try that, you know, something a little fancier than, than the hoop, which I hardly use the hoop either. I'm mostly doing it in hand. But this fits, grabbing this one, this is an 8 inch hoop. So it fits perfect that and it will fit a bigger hoop also if I get a bigger one. Right now all I have is the 11 and I mean the 8 and the 6. But it fits perfect. So I grab this one. I grab a red one so when I'm working on my Christmas project and then I grab this black and white. And they're only a dollar. So I grab those. Uh, what else? Then, um, Heaven on Earth Design was having a flash sale, 50% off all charts. So I decided to jump in the wagon and grab two humongous charts, which I don't know when I would do them. But I would start them. Maybe it, it would take me five years, maybe ten, to finish it. But I'm going to start them. I don't know when it's going to be the start. Maybe that's going to be my New Year's start. So um, the first one that I grab is this one right here. I'm going to take the, the picture. doesn't look right. I'm going to show you this one. This one is called Holly. She is beautiful. I'm going to show you a better picture in my iPad. Hold on. Because I, I don't know that fancy thing that I'm going to insert a picture there. Learning. But for now, I'm going to show you in the iPad. Look how beautiful she is. She is gorgeous. I mean, this will be a masterpiece. If I ever finish it, she will be a masterpiece. So, I grab her. She is big. She is 
475 by 731 stitches. She is big. That's why I gotta start doing those small counts because imagine he, she, and an 11 count. It would be the size of a blanket and I would never do it. So I'll do her maybe some, I will start her maybe sometime next year. I gotta, you know, learn how to use small account first and able to tackle this one. Um, the next one that I grabbed, which is big also, is called Wanderlust 2. And this was a cute, uh, uh, this is a regular chart. This is the regular chart. Holly is a regular chart. This one is a quick, squeeze, uh, quick stitch, which I don't know the difference because she's still big. This is her. She's it's a it's like a gypsy girl, and I love that picture. This one I'm gonna start it soon. I gotta hit it up first, and I will start her before the the year end this year. So, those are the two that I got from Heaven on Earth Design, which they got beautiful charts, beautiful. But those are big projects because all her charts are full coverage. And those are big projects. I gotta start with little projects, right? Because I haven't finished one yet. I had no finishes. I started, I'm brand new. I started, what, a month? A month and a half that I started um, cross-stitching. So I have no finishes. The first project that I started, which I'm going to show you, is in my web. Um, I had to put it aside because I made a few mistakes and then I ran out of the floss and then it's not DMC. I think it was Anchor and I didn't know where to get it. So finally I find the conversion for DMC and I just got the floss to finish it. And then I have a few kits that I have purchased and Joanne and Hobby Lobby, which I have, a, I have some videos on my channel before I started Floss Tube. I used to do like cross stitch haul videos. So there's some in my channel if you want to, you know, you want to see that. Um, so let, that's all I have for hauls. I mean, like I say, I, I splurge in that place. Um, the rest, you know, little things that I get here and there, Michael and Joan and Hobby Lobby because I could use coupon there. So, um, that's what I have. So let me share with you. I only got two whips. Like I said, I started a month and a half and the first one that I, I started was, um, I'm looking right here. I have my little cart here where I got all my whips. So the first one that I started is this little kit. That I got at Walmart. And um, it's called Laundry Day. And I, I'm pretty far in it. Pretty far in it. But I had to put it on hold because, like I said, I'm, first I, it came with a 14 count. And after I started, I couldn't really see the stitches. So then I made a mistake and I had to frog it out. So I ran out of the yellow one, that pale one. And I couldn't, when I went to get a micro, I was looking it through the number that the little, um, this thing gave me. So I couldn't find it. And then, um, I got the, the DMC book so i finally you know was able to to find something from dmc that the match it and i went and got it today at walmart so i grabbed the yeah i got what i'm missing but then i grabbed some of the brown and the green too in case um i need some so that is my first cross stitch project the one that i started with but i have not finished it yet so but then i was working on this and i was like oh this is you know uh it's okay it's this little chart but it's not challenging enough for me all right that's what i said that's what i thought myself so i went to etsy and got myself 
a few patterns from this store. It's called Iris in Love Design. So, like I said, oh, that little one, you know, it's little. I need something more challenging and all that. So I went and got myself this chart. This is a full coverage. It's a big chart. I'm doing it in 8 at 11 count. So it's humongous. It is 21 and a half by 20, 25 and a half. Big. But <laughs> I had to start this girl three times. Yes, you heard me right. Three times. The first time I did her, let me share with you the progress. Not much progress on this one when I had to start it three times. I got all my floss and this little bags that I got a Hobby Lobby. And she is 35 colors. And I'm doing her and Ada and this is big, you see? This is gonna be huge. How long is it gonna take me? I don't know. This is what I got so far. Oh, the needle minders I did on myself. Yes. I have a little collection right there. Right there. And those I did them on myself. Because I have all this stuff. All these buttons, all these flares. Like I said, I have a, a crafts store here. So I create them myself. So this is what I what I have. If you could see by the holes, I was all the way over here the first time. But what happened? I do using 11 count. So it says if you use 11 count to so use three strand of floss, right? So I'm following the rules. Three floss, so that's what I use. But the coverage was not good enough. I was not happy. I have a picture here. Let me share with you guys. I was not happy with the coverage. Um, right here. That is what I had done so far. You see, I was not happy with the coverage because you could see the white fabric in the back. So, that was that. So, I debated and I asked in the... And the, one of the groups that I participated in Facebook, I think it was a cross stitch or limited. And I showed a picture and I asked, you know, sh what should I do? I mean, I don't like, I don't see, I could see the fabric and I see everybody's things. You could really not see the fabric. So, um, they say, so try stitching, use four, four straws. But I was already 500 and something stitches on it. I didn't want to start all over again. So, um, I was like, nah, I'm not going to start all over again. You know, I'm going to leave it like that. It doesn't bother me. Yes, it bothered me. I kept looking at it, kept looking at it, and I didn't like it. So, I was like, shoot. So, then somebody, uh, other people told me, why you don't try to stitch over it, you know, with another one more floss stitch over it. So, I did that. But it didn't look right. It looked bulky because I was putting it on top of the other one. So it was not all four at the same time. So I didn't like the way it looked. So yes, I frog it out. Almost 600 stitches. I frog it out. You can see I was all the way over here. In two days, I was all the way over there. I was getting the swing of it. So, okay, I frog it out. I spend one day frogging it out, you know, the two hours that I have to, to cross stitch that day. I frog it out and I start again. So, I go again and I'm this far. And then I did the three and you still could see the white fabric. This is doing it with three, with four. You still could see the fab, the white fabric, but not as much as this one. So, okay, it's fine. I'm this far. You see how far I was doing it with the four? Then I realized that something was not right. I look at the chart and um, something was not right. Something was not right. They were not aligning the way it's supposed to align. 
So I count. I miscounted. I think it was the third line, four line, the four row. I miscounted by two. So frog it out again. And I haven't touched it since. That was like three days ago. I have, and then I started again, and this is the, how far I got, and I haven't touched it again. I was like, I'm over it. I ain't gonna do her, whatever. So, but I will. I will. I will get her. I will stitch her again. Um, but right now, she is here. I'll work on her again, but I'm gonna start new stuff. Because this is going to take me a long time. So. That's all I have for whips. For stars. So it's why. I already show you guys. But I will give you a quick. Show again. What I'm starting. But this one I want to start it. But I don't have the fabric. So this one has to wait. Until I get the fabric. So my new two stars this week, hopefully. Today is what? Well, today is Saturday. Today is Saturday the 29th. Sorry about that. I should have said that at the beginning of the video, right? Well, this is my first video, guys. I'm all over the place. Cut me some slack on this. I'm not used to this one. I mean, I don't. I have done hundreds of videos, not showing my face, showing my hands, and I'm always all over the place. So this is what you get. So um, so starting tomorrow, because today is already what? Well, today is already 10:34. Once I finish this video, shower and bed. Got to work tomorrow, seven o'clock in the morning. So um, this is gonna be tomorrow's star. The wonderful time of the year. And then on Monday, I will start Santa Hang Up. So that's going to be my two stars for this week. So that will have me with four projects in rotation. And um, I'll be using... Um, Hold on, guys. What's my cross stitch? I have my um, tiny decision, so I could see which one I work. You know, in my rotation, and this include um, this rotation include my diamond painting, my scrapbooking, my crafting, my paper crafting and my cross stitching so i had to work all my crafts so i'm using this app so i could um use that i use i had to scan those those um for my own use of course because i use um i have easy pdf reader but i'm not sure how to use it yet so I am using, which I'm very familiar with, Good Notes, because I also do digital planning sometimes, and so that's what I'm using right now for um, for marking. Um, I know I'm not supposed to show the charts, but I mean to mark my charts. I'm using Good Notes now. Um, I know everybody use PDF Reader. Um, I gotta play with it. I really don't know how to use it. Even though I don't like how I say it. I know PDF Reader people use it so they could search a symbol and then they work all that symbol. Um, right now I'm working with Serene and I do it by page because it's like 12 pages. It's like her head pattern 12 pages so um but i know how to use good notes because i have used it for a long time because like i said i do digital planning also so um 
I found that one is exists just to highlight where I'm at. I don't do all that search and all that stuff because I mean I can't confuse myself jumping from here to there. So um, so that's what I I, I used to um really I, this is just for fun that that um tiny the tiny decision because I really you know I do what I want what I want. And the other thing that I'm using is that it's very, um, so is that, um, cross stitch app. And that's where you keep track of your patterns and, and all that. And also I use now then, and that is to keep, you know, track of the times that I spend in each project. So, um, what else? So I already guys, I already showed you guys my haul. It wasn't that big, but. It will, I'll try to get better. I need to buy more charts. That's what I need. Charts. Because I could get fabric and join and I could get my DNC and join. Which I'm working to get my whole full set of DNC. But it's going to take me a minute. Um, Someday in the near future, I will try those fancy floss. But for now, DNC has to do. I show you my haul, I show you my webs, and I show you my stars of this week. So all I had to do is shout outs, girl, um, people. I have been washing floss too for, since I started cross stitching, a month and a half, faithfully. I'm hooked with floss too. That's all I watch. I don't watch no more haul videos from the craft, my other craft people. I don't watch those no more. I don't watch the project shares they give me no more. Floss tube. Because floss tubes are long. I mean, I have found a few that are half an hour. Those are the ones I like. The half an hour because I could watch more of you guys. You know. Those that are an hour, I don't watch the ones for two hours. Mm -mm. Mm. I'm sorry. That's too much. Um, but the ones in an hour, I watch. But... No, there's so many I could watch, I, you know, when I get out of work and what I'm working, there's so many I could watch because they're an hour long. So I, I have not watched my other regular people. All I'm watching is Floss 2 for now because I'm learning. I'm learning as I watch you guys and, and I love, I love to see all your projects. I love, I want all the patterns you have that I can have. I want all that fancy Floss you buy that I can have. And I want all that good stuff that you have there. Slowly, I'll be getting some of it. So, um, the one I've been watching, the first floss tuber that I found when I jumped into cross stitching, it was the Stitching Mommy. I love her. I love her projects. She has gorgeous, um, beautiful patterns. She does a lot of memorabilia. That's what I'm loving. And I don't have one yet, but I will get some. It's already in my cart. I'm waiting for payday. I'm getting three of them. Three of them I'm getting. So, that was the first floss tube that I had. And I been watch her. I couldn't catch up. I couldn't see them from the beginning. Because she has, I think she's been a couple of years. I will never catch up to her. But I've been watching her for, I went back, I think, maybe 10 videos back. I couldn't catch up, so, but I, I watch her wherever she puts, she don't put much, she don't put daily, I think she put, she put monthly, so I watch, she's the first one I watch, and I love her, I love her projects, and I learn for her, from her, to hand, um, stitching on hand, so that's how I do, that's why I do it, because I watch her, and she does it with all fabrics, it could be lin linen, it could be whatever. She don't use no frames, no nothing. She do um, hand stitching. So that's how I'll, um, I'm doing it that way. I do use the hoop once in a while. But lately, I, I like, I, well, this big project is good for hand stitching. I mean, that big project, there's no way I could put it nowhere. So, so that is the first floss tuber that I saw. The second one that I saw was teacher, Stitcherista, Danielle. But I knew about her already because she's also a diamond painter. And I do diamond painting also. So I have, I have started following her 
as a diamond painter. Then one time she uploaded a floss tube and I watched it and I love her. She is so funny. She is hilarious. I love her. Love her. She does beautiful work too. Cross stitching, diamond painting. She is, she's good. So I, I follow her too. But like I said, I follow her before cross stitching because of the diamond painting. That's how I found her through diamond painting. And then one time when I decided to go that she did one floss tube and I saw it, I went back to her channel and I watched a couple of her previous one because again, she has a lot of ones, so it's no way that I could get caught up with her. So just going forward, uh, I see hers and now she got these Oh My God Moments videos, which I love. So that is her. Then I recently found this girl, Kansas City girl in a Colorado world. She is awesome. And I binge watched her for three days. I saw all her videos in three days. Yes, it's hard. It's hard when you find these floss tubers and you like them. And if they've been doing it for a while, it's hard to really get caught up with them. Well, like with her, I watched her three, um, two days in a row. Almost three days. Three days. Three, I, finished her sh I, I finished her videos getting cut up today, um, Saturday. What I was cleaning this, what I was organizing here, I heard her. So, I I like her. I love, she got a hundred wits, guy. A hundred wits. You know what is that? Yeah. That, I don't know if I, would have, I could have that many. But she has a hundred wits and she's fine with it. She stitch what she wants when she wants and she want to stitch it all. And I don't blame her because I want to stitch them all too. And because of her, I found Gigi, Gigi in Stitches, which I binge watch her today. Binge watch her today. She only had, I think it was 10 videos. So, and her videos are sp short you know 30 minutes 22 minutes so those are easy to get caught up with so i was able to win be, uh, been watch her today what i was cleaning here organizing this room so that is um Gigi and stitches because of cancer city girl said to watch her so i want to watch her um the other one that i've been watching i mean this is just a few to name guys because I have subscribed to so many of you guys that it's, it's, it's hard. It's hard to really keep up with you guys. Um, the other one that I've been watching is Helen D. I like her style too. Um, so, and I like her videos. So, I've been watching her. The other one that I watch, and all these people are big people, guys. I mean, I'm just... Nobody just compared to them. I, I just started. I am nothing... So, um, the ones I'm naming are big people. Um, the other one that I'm watching is the Primitive Stitchers. Again, I love her. Uh, I love her tutorials. I think she has the tutorial to make the, the project bags. And Bona also has another tutorial, which that's the other one I'm going to follow because, um, I might do the Primitive Stitchers too, but I hate sewing zippers. What's that pain in the butt to sew? If you're not a good sewer, you know, and I'm just know the basic. So, so yeah, I watch her videos and I watch her tutorials. So she's pretty good. I like it. And the other one that I watch is Bendy Stitchy, Michelle. She has great videos also. And the, old, the last one that I'm going to mention right now, because if not, we'll be here forever. And I want to keep these videos less than 30 minutes, which already fell. Cause it's like 40 something minutes because I'm recording from my iPhone and a 30 minute video, it takes three to four hours to upload. I don't have the fastest internet either. So this is going to take me like six hours to upload. But here goes guy. And the last one that I watch that I've been watching is Amy loves Toad. She's also, she's a teacher. And I'm like her. I'm in a budget. And I'm an Ida girl. So, me and her, we good. We good. So, that's it. Those are the few.
few people let me see one two three four five six seven people that I have been watching and they have inspired me to continue this to keep adding more whips following Kansas City girl I think her name is Julie um she has a hundred whips I can't get over that and um um, the other one, I have a few more. I will give more names of my nest floss tube. Let's see how this one goes. Um, so again, uh, I love watching you guys. I love the floss tube community. Um, I heard good things about it all the time. So I hope <laughs> I get welcome into that community also. And, um, you know, you guys help me grow in, in this community. Um, hobby I am loving it so far I, I love it I want to do it every night but like I said I'm in the process of organizing this room I still got a mess and a half in my living room or boxes of boxes of boxes that I still got to organize and um, all my free time I am spending it on organizing because I need to have this house what well, my living room back by Christmas <laughs> by November I had to I had to have it back so I have I had to finish this room and like I said I work full-time so I don't have much time during the week to come you know come from home work to come and organize so I do it on my you know I do a box here and there every day but you know so it's cutting on my crafting time because I had to spend it organize it that's why I have not touched those projects no more. And I haven't touched my diamond painting either. Um, I had two ongoing and I haven't touched them in almost three weeks or so because i busy here. But hopefully that will change soon, you know. I'll get this room done and I will have all my free time again. And I'll be able to cross stitch every day because I am determined to cross stitch every day. And like I said, I'm sure that I'm going to be able to do it at work because I'm going to have a downtime that I'm sure I could do it. So that would be awesome if I could do that at work so I could work on my project. So, um, again, um, this is my first one. Let's see how this goes. I will try to do one weekly. I don't know. I think I will set Saturdays to be my day to upload videos. To like that, you know, I have a week. I have the week to work and whatever and show you guys my progress and um, have a little haul from here and there. Even if it's from Michaels and, and Joanne. So, um... I discovered one, two, three stitch too, and that's dangerous. My car is already waiting for payday. So I could hit click, buy. There's a few patterns there that I want. I mean, there's a lot of patterns there that I want. But little by little, I'll build my stash. I didn't build my craft rooms, my scrapbooking and craft paper crafting supply overnight i didn't but i will build my cross stitch little by little little by little i know now that i cannot really rely on those free um some of them are copyrighted they're just in the internet you find anything in the internet i found one that i'm gonna start and i know i sh you know it's not nice but it's an out of print and I'm not paying a hundred and two hundred dollars for that pattern. Nope. I found that on Pinterest. And I'm not ashamed of saying that I'm gonna use it. It's a Mirabilia one. But I'm not paying two hundred dollars for it. I looked it up. It's going for two hundred dollars. I even sold one for six hundred dollars. I am paying that. I want it because it means something to me because I lived through that 
but I'm not paying the price it's asking for. So I found it in Pinterest. I print it. I put it together. It's ready to bake. It's ready to be kitted up. And it's going to be start before the year end because I want to have a display in my house next, next year. By twice. By, by the 4th of July and by September 11 again. I want to have a display in my house. So that's in the process. But I know I shouldn't. But I don't care. I'm going to use it. So. But I got the other middle videos on my car in one, two, three, ready to get them, ready to get them. So anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you guys, introduce myself, um, you know, try to get into this Floss 2 community and um, that will be sharing, you know, my progress and my um, little stash that I have, but that will change. And um, I will continue watching you guys. I continue getting inspired, getting enabled by you guys. One of those one, two, three stitches patterns that I have is from watching all of you guys. Because I pause and then I go see if I could find it and see how much is it. And is it my cart? So I have like what? Maybe 20 patterns in my cart waiting to be by next time I get paid. That gave me something to start with. Besides, I have a few kits there. So, a few kits to get me by in the while I build. So, so that's it, guys. See you next week. Bye now.